Hall and I am the Enrichment Officer here at Buxton Elite College. So my role is to organise everybody's enrichment activities each week and I also do extra things like help the curriculum um, areas to organise trips and visits um, and make sure that they're relevant to whatever that curriculum um, is studying. Another part of my role is to compile the weekly shout out, we call it. So that's basically a roundup of everything that we've got going on at college um, over the fortnight, which is coming up. Um, so make sure you keep an eye out for that because it will tell you of any extra activities, any charity events, anything like that, that you can get involved with. Another really key aspect of my role is to make sure that I'm always talking to you guys, the students, and checking that you're happy with the activities that we're offering as enrichment, um, find out what you're enjoying, what you're not so much, if there's anything new that you'd like to see us offer, so that we can make sure that the programme is really relevant and that you're getting something meaningful out of doing enrichment. Hello everyone, I'm Niall, I am the enrichment coordinator for Boxing and Lake College. And in my role, I help organise the enrichment activities for both Buxton and League sites. I also organise and run the sports teams, which consist of football and netball. And we take part on a Wednesday afternoon in the AOC East Midlands Sports Leagues and compete against other colleges. Also, I will be supporting the progress coaches in delivering future focus sessions, which will be part of your timetable. what enrichment actually is. Enrichment is basically any activities that you undertake while at college that are in addition to your core study programme. And the idea behind completing is enrichment is that you'll have the opportunity to try some different activities that are completely separate to your main course. Um, you'll also be able to gain some new skills you can complete additional qualifications such as emergency first aid at work and in some subject areas you also are given the opportunity to increase your skills that are actually relevant to your qualification so it can actually help with your course study programme as well. So enrichment is not optional, it's actually a required part of any full-time study program and it forms part of what we call your EEP hours or your EAP hours and this stands for employability, enrichment and pastoral hours. There's loads of other great reasons to do enrichment though, not just because you feel like you've got to, um, it's actually a great way of learning new skills and also it really helps you stand out when you're going on to your next step after college, you're doing applications or you're filling in a CV. It's something to put on there that's really going to help you stand out to employers and um, have something above and beyond what other people leaving college might be able to put on their CV. <laughs> So there's a wide variation of enrichment activities that you can be a part of. So you could do qualifications such as first aid and food hygiene, or you could do a bit of health and fitness. So you, if you're at Leak Campus, you go to Brough Park. At Buxton, you could go to Buxton Pool, or you go to the boxing gym, or you could take part in the netball team or the football team. Uh, and there's some other general enrich enrichment activities such as wellbeing club, there's a debate club, sign language, there's coffee club and there's even a 3D computer club so there's many many activities that you can be a part of. As I'm sure you can see from what Niall's spoken about we've got a really wide range of activities on offer here at college so hopefully there's something to suit everybody and these activities are an amazing opportunity to develop some of what are called soft skills. So these are additional skills that you need to be able to function in life and in a job. And they're things like communication, leadership, empathy with other people. Um, there's opportunities to increase your fitness, your mental well-being, your resilience, your confidence. Um, you can really get a lot out of enrichment if you buy into it and um, really engage with it across the year. Our sports teams took part in the AOC's Midlands Sports Leagues 
and we gained massive success last year in terms of the league positions and the commitment shown by the students was absolutely amazing. Um, one of our students actually gained an AOC Sports Award for highly commended sp uh, student performer of the year, which we are super proud of him. He worked really hard for the football team and we could not, as a college, could not be prouder of him. Uh, and he even got scouted for a team in Iceland, which was just incredible. So that was really commendable on, on his side for all the hard work that he put in. And he was a massive part of the football team's success last year. So for the plans for next year, uh, the football netball teams will be taking part in the AOC League next year. Um, and this will be taking place on a Wednesday afternoon. So we will have training as well as matches. So training will only take place when we don't have a fixture to fulfil. Um, and the netball will be taking place either at Fairfield Centre in Buxton or Brough Park in Leek. And football will be taking place at Buxton Football Club or Birchall Sports Fields in Leek. Uh, and there'll be more details about that to come. And if you do want to be part of the football team or the netball team for next year, there will be sign-up sheets. There will be more information when you start during the induction week. Um, and also you can speak to myself or Rachel. we ran a system where students were able to select their own enrichment choices. Um, however, this year we've had to change that a little bit because at the moment, as you know, you've got to stay within your class bubbles. So at least at the start of this year, we're asking your curriculum tutors to select your enrichment options for you. Um, and then we'll be putting those in place. Um, during this first half term, a lot of the enrichment is going to be running online. Um, but as soon as we've got details for what everybody's doing, we'll make sure to get that circulated around your course tutors so that they can let you know exactly what you're going to be doing and where, whether that's at home um, through your computer or if it will be a session within college. <laughs> During the year, Buxton Elite College takes part in numerous charity events, which we are very proud to do. We raise a lot of money for the community and worldwide events. So, for example, um, we have a netball tournament that we do, that is for Asthma UK. We have a football tournament that we do, that is for Comet Relief. Uh, we do a Santa, Santa Dash 5K, that is for East Cheshire Hospice. Uh, we do Christmas Jumper Day, that is for Save the Children. Uh, we do Children in Need. And we've even had staff, um, especially last year, that took part in the Homeless Sleep Out at Stoke City Football Club, which was a fantastic experience. And we've raised lots of money. So next year, we will be taking part in these charities and much, much more. So please keep your eyes peeled for messages uh, and posters around both campuses. If there are any charities that are close to your heart uh, and you would like to raise any money, so please speak to me or Rachel or your tutor and that'll be something we are quite happy to set up and help you with. At Buxton Elite College, students can take part in weekly challenges. So, for example, during lockdown, we did challenges such as celebrate Sir Captain Tom Moore's birthday, we did Mental Health Week, um, we did kick the Toilet Roll Kick-Up Challenge, uh, we celebrated Pride Month, and we also did Black Lives Matters. So it's definitely worth keeping an eye out for the social shout outs every week. That will give you all the information you need of how to get involved in the challenges. One of the areas at college that we're responsible for are the social spaces. So these are rooms that you guys can go and use on your lunch breaks. And they've got things like pool tables and games. We run activities in there. Um, it's just a place to really go and meet friends and relax. Um, we have the Boiler House in Buxton and the Social Space in Leek. Um, at the beginning of this term, these spaces aren't going to be open um, due to the current restrictions we are under. But as soon as they do reopen, we'll make sure to get that message around. Um, so look out for that and please do make use of these spaces once they are back open. <laughs> If you do want to speak to the enrichment team, you'll find us in Buxton at DOG24 
or in Leek in the Hub. Great to have you on board at Buxton Leek College and we hope you're looking forward to taking part in the enrichment activities. See you soon. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. Sorry that we couldn't meet you in person, but we really look forward to when we can and hope you have an amazing induction and first few weeks at college and see you soon. If you do have any questions about enrichment, please feel free to email or call us. Um, I'll put the details up on the screen now. <laughs>